Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an update what's going on at Yellowstone. The camera currently is stopping and going, stopping and going. You notice the melt has increased since my last video and it had increased uh, um, since the one I did before that. But the temperature at Yellowstone is currently 29 degrees supposed to have a high on Friday of 42 but it's been cold at night 18 19 10 13 etc it only recently warmed up a little bit but yeah this is all from the ground the heat from the ground coming up melting all that snow USGS is reporting five earthquakes for today the largest being a magnitude 1.6 that one was in the Norris Junction Madison River area a depth of 5.4 kilometers so that would be about 3.36 miles from sea level the earthquakes uh, west of Heben Lake and I'll bring it in right here Cliff Lake yeah that has been continuing here we got Heben Lake, we got Henry's Lake. And I've talked about the movement of the magma under the ground moving horizontally. And that's creating uplift and I believe that's the reason we're seeing it over here. Now down over here we would have the Snake River Plateau. And if you do a Google, Google search you'll see this is the direction where the magma comes up through causing past eruptions. But then there is the other area where the magma comes into the uh, system which kind of fall, follows along the fault line that moves all the way all the way up to the Montana border and that magma system comes up um, all the way from the Gulf of Mexico actually the uh, Gulf of California near the Mexico border so with the magma system coming in from two different directions and the spreading of the magma under the ground horizontally yeah, this is why I think we're having the swarm of earthquakes over here. Now, I had drawn out using Google Earth lines in red showing the uplift as it was as of 2015. And we're going to bring it in here to the area of Heben Lake. These are some of the past earthquakes that I marked here. This one uh, was uh, November of last year. But if you notice, this uplift is occurring let me bring it out going all the way up to Barton Gulch, Gulch past Barton Gulch all the way up to uh, can we find a name of a town here it doesn't look like it and then it comes all the way down this is the uplift as of 2015. Hell's Half Acre Volcano. Uh, Craters of the Moon. Um, what else we got? Pine Dale. So I'm sure the uplift is a lot more than what I tracked from 2015. You know, if Yellowstone ever decides to go off again, yeah, you would definitely see it from space. That would make one heck of a hole, yeah, here in the U.S. So here we have the charts for the tilt, the uplift of Norris Junction for the last seven days. X and Y. Now they're measuring the flow, the movement of the magma under the ground. That's why they're doing this. They got the X and the Y. Top is north, bottom is east. Yellowstone is only one of five volcanoes around the world that they're actually monitoring the movement of the magma, what it's doing under the ground, not just the uplift on the surface. You notice here on the east track, yeah, it took a big jump on the 29th. And then we got the disk. See, we got X and Y. Each dot is an earthquake that occurred within the last seven days. So it's obvious they haven't reported a lot of them. Then we got the last 30 days. Top measures north, bottom measures east. There's that jump around the 29th. And okay, so even though the trend of the ground itself is rising up in the west for the Norris Junction for this one borehole, movement under the ground 
is slightly towards the east. The Madison River area for the last seven days. Top is north, bottom is east. Look at the jump it took since the second. And again, X is north, Y is east. Each dot, which is kind of blending into each other, is an earthquake for the last seven days. Then the last 30 days, yeah, trending towards the east. I've talked about how Yellowstone has two resurgent domes. Two domes. Not one dome like most volcanoes have, but two. And Yellowstone Lake is near one of those resurgent domes, which would be the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome. Top is north, bottom is east for the last seven days. And you can actually tell by the color pattern. Yeah, look at how it's trending. Yeah, way east. But the ground is rising in the north. But this is what it's doing under the ground, the movement of the magma for the last seven days. And then the last 30 days, yeah, look at the jump for east. Each dot again, which is blending into just a one thick line for the last 30 days, is an earthquake. Here we have Grant which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. Lots of dots means lots of shaking. And we'll come down here to the last seven days, the disk. Yep, trending east. But if you look at the ground, we kind of got up a northwest trend of uplift. And then the last 30 days, yeah, look at that. That's a lot of earthquakes in the last 30 days. And once again, these are all boreholes. Now this is Panther 945, which is up there by the border of Montana. They got this set at 5 micro radians, so you really don't see what's going on. But you can see the trend again is east. And then the last 30 days. And this one here again is another borehole for Norris Junction. Yeah, lots of dots going on here. Lots of shaking. Last seven days. Mostly uplift, but it is trending towards the east under the ground. The magma under the ground. Then the last 30 days. Looks like the camera's shaking a little bit. And we got one of the uh, geysers there going off. Yeah, this is uh, Firehole River. So this is the monitor showing all the earthquakes and the activity for Moose Creek, Idaho. And yeah, look at the heat coming up. Well, look at the signature when I pulled the files. Thickening of the lines. Yeah, magma on the move. And there was some marked in red. I don't know. Yeah, see the spike there? Look at the heat. Looks like they moved the camera again, but it's still stopping and going. I believe Ear Spring is up over here. I could be wrong. Ear Spring, you know, is the one the one of the hot poles that erupted um, unexpectedly. What two years ago? And you can see all the trees that grew up during the quiet period of Yellowstone. Um, that then have recently died off because of the increased gases coming up from the caldera of this super volcano. So let's look at some of the earthquakes that we had here. And we'll pull this up. Yeah, look at the heat. Yellowstone has had 40 smaller eruptions of volcanic activity since its last major eruption 650,000 years ago. Yeah, 40 smaller eruptions since then. What they're looking at now is the boardwalk. This is the area, um, I, what, two years ago that newly erupted under the boardwalk where the, the steam's coming up. 
they had to close this down. I believe that was two years ago. Here we have the monitor for Norris Junction. This is borehole 950 and you can see there's a lot of more a lot more earthquakes than five. They do have what? One, two, three, four, five, six marked in red. And we'll go to the most latest earthquake marked in red. Oops, excuse me. And we'll go to the latest one marked in red right there at 958. There's its signature not being reported. They do have one at 10.05, which is probably this one right here, this little teeny tiny one as it came in at Norris Junction. We got this one at 9.59. We got more, um, more recent that are not being reported. Now there's quite a few actually more recently. And this one down here. Yeah, harmonic tremors or volcanic tremors, but there's a lot of them. Five forty one marked in red, not being reported. Six seventeen marked in red, not being reported. Uh, 7-11 marked in red. They did report that one. That's near the Madison River area. And then we got another one at 756, a 0 0.5. But that one doesn't really show up on this monitor. Yeah, that was a small one. But anyways, yeah, we'll come up. We got one there. Um, that was on the third yesterday at 554 I'll pull this up for you but see they didn't report anything for yesterday they got them for the second a 1.3 a 0, 0 0.0 um, how many we got on the second quite a few it looks like we got one two three four five Six, six for the second. Oh, excuse me. Seven, eight, eight for the second. And what else we got? We got another small one there, or a series of them, it looks like. Probably two. Yeah, not being reported. And then this one um, at 9.33. Now, was that? Yeah, that was that one's today. All right, here we have the monitor, the borehole 944 for Grant, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. We got a small earthquake right there. Like I said these are not being reported. There's its signature. And let's see what else we got. We got a sharp popping there. Yeah, a sudden pop of the rock brought up some hot gases there and then we got the thickening of the lines which is harmonic tremors um, we got this one here at 958 again not being reported um, a little bit bigger one there 711 that is the one that they did report a little bit bigger one right there at 6 50. Did they report that one? Yeah, that's the 1.6, 5.4 kilometers. Again, the Madison River area, Norris Junction area. Grant is kind of, well, let me go in. There's Little West. So let me pull this out a little bit so you can see. Grant is right along here. And then we've got another small one there at 617. Yeah, definitely a screw wave, harmonic tremors. Another one there at 541. What else we got here? Another popping of the rock. Let me pull this up for you. Brought up some hot gases when that thing popped. 
and we got uh, more there a little screw wave and oh there's all that one uh, let me try and get this one there's another one popping of the rock more hot gases let's see got another one there see that let me pull this up for you yeah I missed some data there I'm sorry um, 955 did they report that one nope a picture of Old Faithful so this is why we have a lot more earthquakes on the disk than what they're actually reporting um, the park is still closed until um, next month or the roads are closed and some of the hotels will start be start to open up in April I believe everyone that's coming in is coming in by snowmobile I got a little thickening of the line here the different colors is the different levels of heat pockets of melt um, kind of like a sponge where you have the holes in a sponge and um, those would be the pockets of melt not all rock melts at the same temperature we got another popping of the rock there I think I already showed you that one so that's all I have for you right now if you any thoughts or comments or questions put it down below thank you for subscribing thank you for your support please stay safe and I will talk to you later God bless you bye